welcome back everybody to chapter 7 as always if you missed the previous episode the link to it is in the description below and today the video is going to start off with a little bit of questing but the second half of it is going to focus on the great corn favor grind it was an intense day 15 hours lots of woes but more on that later first we trained construction to level 21 by building chairs in our house uh, so that once we do bon voyage we can actually build a uh, bank on the fossil island once we open it up and then we went ahead and completed the quest the sailing part was a little bit iffy but eventually we got there next we decided to complete all the subquests for recipe for disaster that we could um so first we have to start with another cook's quest which is the intro quest that gives us one quest point and opens up the feast and the whole story we started freeing the council members with the mountain dwarf that got us cooking to 35 and slayer to 31 and then we freed the goblin generals which gave us no levels and then we moved on and freed evil dave with a spicy stew and that gave us 7k of cooking experience to level 38. Next, we freed Pirate Pete, which gave us 43 crafting. And then before we could continue, we actually had to train cooking to level 40. So we went to the Cather B range and cooked salmon until level 40 um, and moved on to freeing the Lumbridge Guide, which gave us 41 cooking when done. And then finished off what we could in Recipe for Disaster with freeing Scratch and that gave us 48 wood cutting. Unfortunately, we cannot do King Avovegi or Sir Amek just because we don't have the levels or the quest open, but we'll leave that for a later date. A few more quests before we start Corrin, starting with the Fremnic Isles, another chapter in the Viking saga where we pacify the relations between two Viking islands of names I can never pronounce, so I'm not even gonna try, um, by killing the troll king which is a mutual threat uh, once we completed this quest it gives a buttload of uh, awesome rewards 10k of attack to level 50 10k of defense to level 44 10k of wood cutting to level 49 and then 5k of construction to level 27 and all that to uh, equal 60 combat level total Next, we completed the Roving Elves quest that gave us 10k of strength experience and a crystal bow, uh, but no level. And then we moved on to Haunted Mine. Uh, the fight against Trey's death, um, interesting, a bit uh, frustrating to be honest. I just chased him around, completely ignoring the traps, healing through them until he died. It was the first time I officially used Ivan's staff and Ivan's blast uh, to kill a quest boss. But uh, the quest gave us 22k of strength experience that got us to level 53 strength. And then it also gave us the salve amulet, which definitely helps to fight undead creatures. Um, hashtag Vorkath hype, uh, eventually. And finally, one of the most iconic RuneScape quests there is, in my personal and humble opinion, one small favor. And I still remember the first time I've ever done that quest. I was very young and I didn't want to use a guide. I wanted to live it. And I felt all the emotions, like intrigue at first, and then frustration and exhaustion, and then sheer happiness and elation when you finally get to the gnome and you help him fix the landing lights, and you realize there's no more favors to do. Now you get to go back and turn all of them in. And then you get to Yanni, and Yanni's giving you lip, and he's like, bro, where have you been all day, man? I just asked you for a small favor. And you just wanna reach across the screen and just shake him, you know what I'm saying? Man, that quest was great. That was, that was just a great, great quest. Uh, anyway, the two lamps that it gives, 20k experience, I put towards farming to get us to level 43. Alright folks, day two of this chapter was the corn favor grind, and our strategy was to complete tasks for each of the houses from 0 to 90% favor, and then complete the quests associated with each house for that 10% certificate to finish us off. We couldn't do that with Piscarellius because we already completed the client of corn and the queen of thieves quests whose certificate we put towards Piscarellius and then also started grinding Pisk Favor at the time the bottom right screenshot was taken. Now this video shows tasks I chose to complete. They may not be the quickest or most efficient, um, but I, it's how I chose to do this rep. How you do it is completely up to you. All right, so let's kick this off with finishing Pisk Rally's Favor because it's the easiest. At 30%, you can hunt sandworms, essentially digging them up from the ground, um, filling buckets in your inventory, and then you turn in those buckets full of worms um, for a 50% chance for each bucket 
to give 0.8% uh, favor towards Piscuralius. It took us 20 minutes to get from 38% all the way to 100. Next, we moved on to Hosidius' favor, starting with plowing the fields for a whopping 12% chance per tile to get 0.2% increase in percentage. We did that from 0 to 5. And then we moved on to uh, making sulfurous fertilizer by combining saltpeter and compost. You can do that at any bank, and then you can just turn it into a clerk in Hosidius. Uh, we had to do 950 units to get to 90%. And then we completed the uh, Depth of Despair quest um, that gave us that 10% certificate to get to 100, uh, as well as 1.5k uh, experience in agility, although no level. Um, Hosidius took us 65 minutes to complete. And then we moved on to Shazine, and we started by healing wounded soldiers in the tents with medkits. 0.2% per soldier got from 0 to 5% pretty quickly. Um, and we needed 5% so that once we kill Lizardmen in the canyon, which we had to do to get the Zeric Talisman, we could grind some additional uh, favor that way as well. I'm going to be honest with you guys, at this point I was feeling really, really good. I mean, Piscarellis and Los Cities took us an hour and a half to do, and I figured three to four more hours of work and this entire grind is over and I can move on to bigger and better things. And I could not be more wrong in my entire life ever. Um, the drop rate for the Zeric Talisman is 1 into 50 without the easy achievements being done, but I typically get a bit more lucky with those types of things. Uh, but unfortunately, after three and a half hours and some 350 kills, I was still empty handed. In need of a serious break from the Lizardmen, I decided to go do Get in the Head. It's a quest that is not part of the favor grind, but it does exist in Corrin. Um, so we completed it. It gave us 45 crafting and 30 construction. And then we completed all the easy achievements so that we can uh, lower the drop rate for the Zeric Talisman from 1 in 250 to 1 in 125, since clearly we needed it. Then we went back to the Lizardmen, and after an hour and a half... Oh, got it! Let's go! You got it? I got it. Yes. After it was all said and done, we ended up killing around 600 Lizardmen, which took us about 5 hours and 15 minutes-ish to finally get that Zarek Talisman. The silver lining, though, is I went from 55 mage to 62 and from 43 hit points to 47 while doing this. So we did get some awesome levels. To finish off Shazine, we went back to healing wounded soldiers until 90% favor. And then we completed a Taylor the Righteous quest um, for that 10% certificate. We got no levels, just coins as a reward. Um, Overall total for Shazine favor grind was six hours and 30 minutes ish. And that's not including the breaks that we took in between the Lizardmen. The Lovak in favor was next and it's a pretty straightforward grind. It's just incredibly time consuming. Essentially what you're doing is mining volcanic sulfur from zero to 65% at one in three chance per sulfur that you're gonna get a 0.1% increase uh, in favor. So if you do the math, that's a ton of sulfur. So this is a grind where you pop in a movie or two, sit back, relax, and just get well grinding. At 65%, you move on to the Lovaken Minecraft network, unlocking each of the five destinations at 5% per destination, which will get you to 90%. And then I completed the Forsaken Tower quest, which gave me that 10% certificate to finish this off. Uh, Lova Ken Favor took us 4 hours and 15 minutes to complete. Last but certainly not least was Arceus Favor, and it was another straightforward grind, but that's mainly due to a RuneLight plugin called Corrin Library that is a must for this. I strongly recommend you guys get it. It significantly reduces the amount of time and effort spent in the library because what we were doing is we were finding and delivering books for one of the three uh, customers uh, at the center ground floor of the library for 2.5% per book, and we did that from 0 to 90%. And then we completed the Ascent of Arceus quest uh, for that 10% certificate to get us to 100, as well as a level in Hunter to 36. The total amount of time for Arceus was 1 hour and 20 minutes. And now that all the favor was at 100%, we went ahead and found all the architects for each of the house, 
uh, to complete the architectural alliance mini quest for two reasons the first one was a 10k experience lamp that we put towards farming to get us to level 46 and then second is so that we can open up the corn heart teleport on the Zeric uh, talisman which takes you right outside of the main castle by the statue so now that the corn favor grind is over here are a couple of parting thoughts first it took us 13 hours and 30 minutes to get everything done and it probably would have taken me less time if instead of fighting all those lizardmen for the Zeric talisman i focused on healing the shazine soldiers i'd probably get it done in about eight to ten hours but that's still a pretty long day so if that does not sound appealing to you i strongly recommend you break your grind up into chunks and then second why did i actually do this why did i grind corn favor and the short term answer is i wanted to open up the farming guild uh, so that i can start doing farm runs and have that patch open um but i'm also a completionist right so i know that i have to do this at some point so might as well just get it all done in one go and never have to think about corn again and lastly like i said in the prologue we're gonna start summarizing how many birdhouse runs and how many farm runs we've done during the video including all the levels that we got from them now for this video it's only going to be birdhouse runs because we haven't started farm runs yet and doing willow birdhouses we ended up uh doing six runs that got us from level 31 hunter to 37 hunter all right folks and here we are at the end of this video and for the progress check uh, we went from 962 to 1020 total level which is only an increase of 58 i say only compared to the previous videos where we got far more but the corn favor grind being done far makes up for it so we're happy with it and as far as the teaser for the next video our character may or may not finally be able to wield a dragon scimitar as always thank you so much for watching this video or any other previous ones if you have any feedback please leave it in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next one Bye bye